Okay, today we're going to do another quick molar conversion, and we should be able to convert very easily between grams, particles, and volume. I think this is kind of a good little roadmap that you can keep in your head that can show you how you can get back and forth between grams, particles, and volume. These things are all related to each other through the mole. We know that um, if we have a certain number of grams of substance, we can convert to moles through its molar mass of that substance because we know that one mole of any substance has a fixed mass. And then we can convert very easily between particles and moles through Avogadro's constant because we know that one mole of the substance is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, which we mean like molecules or atoms or ions or something like that. And then we know that the volume of a gas at standard temperature and pressure is related to the mole through its molar volume because one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure has a volume of 22.4 liters. All right, so those are the conversion factors that you can use very easily to convert grams, particles, and volume. All right, so let's go on and do a few problems. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna do another quick molar conversion. In this case, we're gonna be going from the number of uh, particles to the volume. So let's just read our question really quickly. It says here, what is the volume of 4.03 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of chlorine gas at standard temperature and pressure? So you can see in this case, We've been given molecules, which is particles, and we're trying to find the volume. This is what we're trying to find. So you can see we're going to start over here with particles, and we're going to convert to moles first using Avogadro's number, Avogadro's constant. One mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, in this case molecules, and then we'll go from moles to volume using the molar volume of gas, which we know one mole is 22.4 liters, okay? So we have a two-step problem that we're going to do here. And the first thing we should always do is write down what we've been given. We have been given that we have 4.02, excuse me, 4.03 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, okay, of chlorine gas. In this case, we're gonna use Avogadro's constant to go to moles. We have molecules here. That means we're going to put Avogadro's constant in the bottom of our fraction. Six point oh two times ten to the twenty-third molecules. The one mole goes in the top. That's the unit that we want to convert into. You can see molecules cancels with molecules. We're left with moles, and in this case, we end up with zero. 0.67 moles. Okay, so that's the first part of our conversion. We went from the number of particles, in this case molecules, to moles using Avogadro's constant, and we end up with uh, 0 0.67 moles. All right, now we're going to go from moles to volume using our molar volume of a gas at standard temperature and pressure, 22.4 liters. And here's the number of moles we have now. So I'm going to write that down here, 0 0.67 moles. I'm going to put my multiplication down, put my line down for my conversion factor. I'm going to plug my conversion factor in over here. I will have moles here. I want to get rid of moles, so I'm going to put the mole in the bottom. So I have a mole in the bottom, mole in the top. They cancel. The other part of my conversion factor, 22. 0.4 liters goes in the top, 0 0.67 times 22.4, and we end up with just about 15 liters, okay? So that's what the volume is of 4.03 times 10 to 23rd molecules. We started with particles, we went to moles using Avogadro's constant, then we went from moles to volume using our molar volume of gas, 22.4 liters, and we end up with 15 liters. All right? So, hope that was helpful. Thank you very much.